Hi, I'm Nelson, and this is the, uh, the Sir Nelson IELTS and General English Training. In this video, we are going to learn how to write the body. In my first video, I taught you how to write the introduction. Remember, an essay has three parts. It has the introduction, the body, and the general conclusion. How do we write the body? We are going to discuss both sides, and we are going to be guided with a question, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of smoking. Introduction. In your introduction, don't choose or agree with any side in the introduction. Why? Because in the introduction, in the question, they tell you to discuss the two sides. Since you are discussing the two sides, there is no need for you to copy, to choose a side. So in our introduction, we have to cross out that part which gives your opinion. Because the question tells you to discuss the two sides. Remember, in an earlier video, I already told you how to write the introduction. In case you missed it, you can go. It is on YouTube. You can go and learn how to write the introduction. You cannot begin giving a point without introducing it. People have to know what you're going to talk about. Synonyms. Remember, in my earlier videos, in my, when I was teaching you the introduction, I gave you these synonyms. It's very important to know different synonyms such that you don't use the same words again and again. Synonyms, many, several, various, countless, a lot of, numerous. The word many is very common, but you don't have to use it all the time. Sometimes you can use any of these synonyms. These words can be used interchangeably. Practice one. Write three other sentences using synonyms. The purpose of this is to practice the our use of synonyms. I don't want us to use the word many advantages all the time. Now let's get our pens and notebook and we start writing. Of course you must be having a date. You have written all that. You remember to write the word practice one and then you start. What are the synonyms of this? There are many advantages of the internet. Can you think of three other ways of writing this? Next, write three other sentences using synonyms. I've given you the synonyms of many and disadvantages. Are there other ways you can write this? Choose only three and you write them down. It will help you to learn synonyms. Write three other sentences using synonyms. The internet has many advantages. Write three other sentences. You do the same with disadvantages. Practice one. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Now write your complete introduction. Remember, the introduction has seven parts. Uh, but in this case, you must write only six because we don't want to give an opinion, because you are going to discuss the two sides. Next, writing the body. After the introduction, we go to the body. In the body, you begin with a signpost to show that this is my first point. And any of these can work. First, read after me, firstly, first of all, first and foremost, to begin with, to start with, the first point is that, for one thing, in the first place, in the first instance, on the one hand, these are signals, these are signposts, these are warnings. They are warning the reader that now my first point is coming. Topic sentence. The most important sentence in a paragraph is the topic sentence. It shows the topic of the paragraph. In my paragraph here, the underlined words are what we call the topic sentences. On the one hand, that is not the topic sentence. That is a signpost. That is a linking word. It is connecting. It is warning the reader that my first point is coming. People who, the word who has to be there. People who say that the advantages are more than the disadvantages, 
give the following reasons. It's clear the topic sentence is showing us that this paragraph is for advantages. Practice two, start a paragraph with a signpost, topic sentence, and one point. After giving the topic sentence, you give the first point. Now you have to warn the reader that my first advantage is coming. First, governments and people get a lot of money from smoking. My first, there are many advantages. People who say the advantages of smoking are more than the disadvantages give the following reasons. First, governments and people get a lot of money from smoking. Now this is my first advantage of smoking. Now start a paragraph with a, a signpost, topic sentence, and one point. Remember, our topic is discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Don't use smoking. Smoking, I'm the one using it as an example. For you are going to develop the paragraph of the internet. After giving the first advantage, you have to add the details. The details are examples. How, when, where. How did that... Uh, you add more points to the advantage. Now you have to warn the listener, but now I'm going to give you an example. So you can choose any of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All these, they introduce an example. They introduce the details. After giving the first advantage, you have to give the details. You, you answer the question how, so that people can really understand that it's an advantage. For example, on the one hand, people who say that the advantages are more than the disadvantages give the following reasons. First, governments and people get a lot of money. How? Which government? What is a lot of money? you have to add details. Take China for an example. It's a very obvious case. Its government collects millions of taxes from companies that sell cigarettes. A lot of money, millions, government, China. It's very important to give specific examples to support your point. Practice three. Start a paragraph with a signpost, topic sentence, and one point. Provide one specific example which is well explained. Give a second example. Sometimes, not always, sometimes one example might not be enough and it's important for you to add a second. The purpose of writing, the purpose of debating is for people to understand your point. No one can understand your point if you don't have examples. So you can add you have to warn the listeners, the readers, that now a second example is coming. One, two, three can help you. For example, I can give you a second example. Many Chinese sell cigarettes on the streets and are able to feed their families. So smoking is good and I've given clear examples. That's my example. You are going to write yours. Remember, you're not writing about smoking, you're writing about the internet. The advantages, are the, this paragraph is for advantages of the internet. Provide a second specific example to support the point that you gave up. Now we need to add a second advantage, adding another point to the topic sentence. You can use any of these words to add another point. In this case, you use, this is a warning that next I'm going to add. The first point is finished. I'm add, the first advantage is finished. I'm adding a second advantage. Read after me. In addition, furthermore, moreover, what is more, for another besides. This, you are adding a second advantage because the paragraph is for advantages. So our paragraph should have two advantages. For example, I finished the first advantage. Now I am saying that in addition, smoking helps people get friends. I'm not 
introducing a new paragraph. It is one paragraph. I'm adding a second advantage to the first one, to the topic sentence. Do the same. Add another point to the topic sentence. Remember, put a signpost. Warn the readers that now a second point is coming. A second advantage is coming. Now give examples to support your point. Whenever you give a point, you add details. So our paragraph has two advantages and it has details well explained. Practice six, uh, practice six give specific examples to support your second advantage. We have finished the first paragraph of the body, which is for advantages. Now we need to go to the second paragraph, which is the paragraph of the disadvantages. You have to warn the readers that the second paragraph is coming. I have finished the first one, the second one is coming. You can use one, two, three, four, five to introduce the second paragraph. Five, six, seven, and eight. For example, on the one hand, those who say that the disadvantages outweigh the advantages give their reasons as follows. I want you to see the word outweigh is the same as a more than. Remember, you are not going to use the word advantage or disadvantages. Use synonyms. First, in this paragraph, you are going to write it like the first one. Give your first disadvantage, add details. Details include examples. Add a second disadvantage, add details. If you do that well, people will understand what you're talking about. Lastly, writing the general conclusion. Again, you have to warn the listeners that now the general conclusion is coming. These words show that the general conclusion is coming. So you have to choose one of these to begin your general conclusion. For example, I chose in conclusion, therefore, I agree. Remember, I gave you many synonyms of agree, so you don't have to use the word agree all the time. And I told you that don't give your opinion in the introduction, but your opinion is important. It should be put in the conclusion because you have already given two sides, advantages, disadvantages. In the last paragraph, which is the conclusion, you can give your side. You agree with the first point or the second point. Then, remember, you have already given the points up. Choose one paragraph and you paraphrase. You paraphrase the points you have given. You just mention them. This is a conclusion. There is no new point. You are just paraphrasing what you wrote. Choose one paragraph and put the points here. If you do that well, you have a complete essay. Introduction body and general conclusion well organized and people will be happy because they understand what you write practice eight write a general conclusion to your essay 